Hi guys, welcome to our Excuse Me Max channel. In this class, we start the chapter Fourier series. To consider this Fourier series, we need to introduce some definitions and common terms. So we start the Fourier series by defining periodic function. So what is periodic function? So our definition is a function f of x which satisfies the relation f of x plus t is equal to f of x for all x and some fixed t is called periodic function. That is a function is periodic if the function values repeats at its regular intervals. This regular interval is referred as t and is called the period of f of x. That is f of x is equal to f of x plus t that is equal to f of x plus 2t is equal to f of x plus 3t etc repeats again and again with a gap of period t. For example, sin x, cos x, secant x and cosecant x are periodic with period 2 pi. Similarly, tan x, cot x are periodic with period pi. So therefore, a function that repeats its values again and again at regular intervals is called periodic function. Now we can illustrate this with an example. Let f of x is equal to sin x. The graph of sin x is shown here with one wave is in red color and the next wave is in green color and also in purple color etc. It goes on. And the length over the x axis is equal to one period which is 2 pi. That is the waves repeats again and again with a gap of 2 pi. Therefore, the function sin x is periodic with period 2 pi. Similarly, in the next example, the graph of cos x is shown here with one wave in red color and the other in green color etc. It goes on with a period 2 pi. That is, the waves repeat itself with a gap of period 2 pi. Therefore, this cos x is periodic with period 2 pi. Similarly, it suits for cosecant x and secant x also. Similarly, the other examples are tan x, cot x are periodic function with period pi and sin nx and cos nx are periodic with period 2 pi by n. So, therefore, a function that repeat its values at regular intervals is called periodic function. Some real life examples of periodic functions are planetary orbits, planetary rotation, length of a day, voltage coming out of a wall socket, moment of a pendulum in a wall clock. Likewise, we have many examples. Next, even and odd functions. The function is said to be even if it satisfies f of minus x is equal to f of x. For example, x square cos x sin square x are even functions. Consider the function x square. So if f of x is equal to x square, f of minus x is equal to minus x the whole square is equal to x square which is equal to f of x. Graphically, the function x square is represented by this diagram. Here the graph of an even function is symmetrical about the y-axis. That is, it looks like mirror image like a reflection. That is, if we plot on a graph and folded along y-axis, the left and right half of the function matches with each other. Therefore, this function returns the same value for both x and minus x. Our next example is f of x is equal to cos x. That is f of minus x is equal to cos of minus x is equal to cos x. Since cos values are positive between 0 to 2 pi which is in first and fourth quadrant, cos of minus x is equal to cos x that is equal to f of x. Next odd function. A function is said to be odd if it satisfies f of minus x is equal to minus f of x. For example, 
x cube sin x tan cube x are odd functions take for example f of x is equal to x cube f of minus x is equal to minus x the whole cube that is equal to so since it is odd number the result is minus x that is equal to minus f of x so therefore f of x is equal to minus f of x so therefore x cube is an odd function the graph of an odd function is always symmetrical about the origin it does not change when you invert the graph upside down for example in a play card like king queen etc the picture does not change when you flip over the card our next example in the odd function is f of x is equal to sin x so that is f of minus x is equal to sin of minus x so sin of minus x is equal to minus sin x since sin values are positive between 0 to pi which is in first and second quadrant in the unit circle and sin values are negative between minus pi and 2 pi which is in the third and fourth quadrant so therefore our sin of minus x is equal to minus sin x so that is equal to minus f of x so therefore sin x is an odd function next note down some tips to find out even or odd function analyze the exponents in the equation if the exponents for the x values in the equation is equal to an even number then the function is even if the exponents for the x values and the y values in the equation is equal to an odd number then the function is odd next there are some properties of even and odd functions the sum of two even functions is even the sum of two odd functions is odd the sum of an even and odd functions is neither even nor odd similarly the product of two even functions is an even function product of two odd functions is an even function the product of an even function and an odd function is an odd function some results are to be noted down before going to the fourier series and are to be used in fourier series problems there are some important properties of sines and cosine functions note down this properties and we'll be using this in problems so these are the important results which is needed for obtaining the fourier series finally the last one which is more important for integrating the product of two functions is called bernoulli's rule of integration to integrate the product of two functions one which is a power of x we apply generalized rule of integration by parts that is integral uv dx is equal to uv1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 etc where u and v are functions of x dash is represent differentiation whereas suffix is denote integration with respect to x that is first function into integral of second minus go on differentiating first integrating second signs alternatively changes with plus and minus simplification should be done only when the integration is over next definition of fourier series it is a representation of wave form as a sum of signs and cosines actually this fourier series falls under the category of trigonometric infinite series where the individual elements of the series are expressed trigonometrically the construction of fourier series is given by f of x is equal to a not by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus b n sin n x where a not a n b n are constants and are called the fourier coefficients of f of x next euler's formula 
This formula is to find the values of a0, an and bn. The formula is the Fourier series for the function f of x in the interval c to c plus 2 pi is given by f of x is equal to a0 by 2 plus summation n from 1 to infinity a n cos nx plus, plus summation n from 1 to infinity b n sin nx. To find the coefficients of a0, an and bn, we integrate with respect to x on both sides and we get a0 is equal to 1 by pi integral c to c plus 2 pi f of x dx. a n is equal to 1 by pi integral c to c plus 2 pi f of x cos nx dx. And b n is equal to 1 by pi integral c to c plus 2 pi f of x sin nx dx. The values of a0, an and bn are called Euler's formula. Here there are three cases which we have to note down. Our first case, if c is equal to 0, the interval becomes 0 to 2 pi and the formula f of x reduces to a0 is equal to 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x dx, an is equal to 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x cos nx dx and bn is equal to 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x sin nx dx. Second case, if c is equal to minus pi, the interval becomes minus pi to pi. The formula f of x reduces to a0 is equal to 1 by pi integral minus pi to pi f of x dx. an is equal to 1 by pi integral minus pi to pi f of x cos and x dx. And bn is equal to 1 by pi integral minus pi to pi f of x sin and x dx. Third case, when f of x is an odd function, our a0 is equal to 0. Since cos nx is an even function, our f of x into cos nx is an odd function. By the property, odd into even is equal to odd function. Therefore, our an is also is equal to 0, since cos nx is even function. Similarly, sin nx is an odd function. So therefore, f of x into sin nx is an even function. By the property, odd into odd is equal to even function. Therefore, our bn is equal to 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x sin nx dx. Fourth case, when f of x is an even function, our bn is equal to 0. Since sin nx is an odd function, our f of x into sin nx is an odd function. By the property, odd into even is equal to odd function. Therefore, our bn is equal to 0. So, our a0 is equal to 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x dx. Since cos nx is an even function, f of x into cos nx is an even function by the property even into even is equal to even function. Therefore, a n is equal to 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x cos nx dx. Next, Dirichlet conditions. Fourier series here cannot be applied to general functions. They can only converge to periodic functions. So, to get the convergence of simple sine and cosine waves, that is, to get the convergence of trigonometric series, we should meet some specific criteria which is known as Dirichlet conditions. The conditions are, f of x is periodic and must be single valued everywhere. It has a finite average value in the period 2L and it has a finite number of discontinuities and finite number of positive and negative maxima and minima. The three points mainly ask you whether the function have bounded variation that is a function of its range can be included in a closed interval. Example, f of x is equal to sin x which is bounded between minus 1 and 1. Next, f of x is periodic over the length of period 2L. Likewise, it checks each condition listed here. So, this is the Dirichlet conditions and are satisfied then the Fourier series of the function f of x exists. So, our final conclusion is there will be two intervals of problems here. One is from 0 to 2 pi and another from minus pi to pi. From minus pi to pi, we have three types of problems. One is neither even nor odd. And other possibility is even function or odd function. Let us solve all cases of problems in the upcoming videos. Do share and subscribe this channel. Thank you.